good to have the opportunity to talk to you today. And um, I saw this film, oh my gosh, I guess it was last year. Uh, it first came on my radar. Um, I had the opportunity to talk to the director and Laura and we couldn't couldn't nab you. So I nabbed you today. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for having me on. Um, you did such a good job in this. And I wanted to ask you first off, being a Winnipegger yourself, of course, how much did you know about this time period, about the Winnipeg general strike? I mean, we, we kind of learned about it in school, but it's not really, you know, we're not bombarded with this. So tell me a little bit about your experience of just knowing about it before you took on the role. Uh, I think you you nailed it right there. Like you learn about it in school and you see like the streetcar and stuff and all the old photos from back in the day but you don't actually really understand everything that happened during that time so it was like a lot of research into things that I should have researched in school but I didn't yeah uh, and learning about that yeah and then you uh, tell me a little bit about how you got, you were approached to, to take on the role uh I actually I was in Vancouver at the time I auditioned I auditioned for another role and then uh I was offered the lead after that audition Oh, cool. All right. So I, that's I was like in a closet in Vancouver because like self taping was always weird. And there was like uh, way too much sound in the environment where right. I was. So I had to like do the tape from a closet, I think. Okay. It was like a bigger closet. It was like a, maybe like a den kind of closet, but yeah. it was definitely a closet. Okay. Listen, you do it wherever you can, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And then you, you know, you get the script and you start reading and you find out a little bit more about, you know, the time period. Um, mm -hmm. Did you find yourself, aside from reading the script and knowing what was, what you were going to have to do, did you, did you do any extra research? Did you, how did you prepare to play um, Stefan? Uh, I think that the biggest thing was, I think there's a consistency to people uh, throughout the ages. So like whatever struggles they're going through, it's just in a different way, depending on what time period they're in so if they're all like the, fear is always the same or this struggle is always the same it's just a different type of fear or a different type of struggle right. so it wasn't so much that aspect it was fully understanding that but uh i think the most amount of research i had to do was uh for the accent right yes absolutely you got to get that right for sure exactly i mean you know playing an immigrant you're there with your dad um you know i don't want to give away too much because it's it's it is a heartbreaking story um but on top of it all you know you're you're playing this guy you're in this time period and not just the acting marshall you got to do all the singing and everything that's you know it's a musical yeah. and who would think to put the winnipeg general strike into a musical but i know it's based on um uh like a, a stage musical but you know how do you even wrap your mind around doing something this huge? Well, I think acting, like to me, I was like acting in music, you can get out different versions of expression within you. So with acting, you can like hit a certain level. And then with music, you can hit a certain level. Like when I perform, uh, like playing guitar and singing. Yeah. Like I can feel that performance. And when you're acting, you can feel that performance. And then you actually get to combine both of them. So for me, doing the acting and the singing at the same time actually gets me to a, a, a lower depth of what I can express or how much that scene feels to me. Because it's kind of like if you're really sad and you had a soundtrack playing in the back of your head about how sad you are and like <laughs> sad music makes people sad. So automatically you get sadder. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And then you've got some really nice chemistry with Laura. Tell me a little bit about your first meeting, what it was like um, to kind of establish that chemistry. And did you guys kind of hit it off from the beginning? Uh, oh, Laura's awesome. I think we had the first time we met was at a cast dinner in one of the restaurants in downtown Winnipeg. But she's a, a lovely girl. Yeah, she said she's, she's a baby. Great. I'm sorry, say it again. She's a baby. Yes. Yeah, Exactly, yeah. exactly. And yeah, yeah but it, it's interesting to me because these are roles um, like we've never seen either of you do before. It's very different, you know, for for us watching you in this and playing this time period. Did you have like, was it fun? Was it exhausting? You know, tell me a little bit about that, because to me watching it, I don't know, it just seemed it wasn't your, your you know, uh, regular kind of role. It seemed a little bit more special, I think. 
Uh, well, I, I think acting is always like fun, even on the days that it's not fun, it's always fun. You're still doing something <laughs> you love. Um, I really enjoyed playing that role because I got to do a little more than I generally get to do or play a, a further character from myself or a different version of myself that I don't often get to do. Yeah. Um, and I think it, anytime, I, I always like a challenge. So anytime there's more added on to it, uh, I, I think those are roles to go for. Yeah. So like if there's musical, the accent, and then figuring out like, should they have an accent when they're singing or not? Um, and then even though my personal take on how I would respond to certain things aren't like theirs, it's just, it, it makes it a lot more interesting and more enjoyable. Right, right. And then, of course, Greg Henry plays your dad in this, um, you know, and, and you have you guys have some great scenes together and some tough scenes together. Tell me about working with him. Oh, awesome, dude. Um, we went out for for burger week, I think. Uh, <laughs> pasta. He, I, I forget what it's called, but Teglioli Goli is his favorite <laughs> or something. Uh, no, he's he's a he's a wonderful guy. Um, uh, we talked about music a lot as well. Yeah, what do you learn from working with a veteran guy like him? Uh, I think you, even if you don't necessarily, if you can't necessarily put your finger on it, you still learn a lot with like the subtleties of um, what they bring to the table. So I think I learned a lot from him, but I couldn't actually tell you what I learned from him. Right. It's just how someone operates on set, um, how they are in a scene, what they do for their, their prep. It's just little mental notes that I would take. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And I, what's wonderful about this is that it was actually shot in Winnipeg. So for you, that must've been a joy. Tell me about working there and, and what it was like to just even be um, in some of the locations where some of these things actually took place. Uh, it was wonderful shooting in Winnipeg. Um, that was the first larger project I think I did in Winnipeg so that was kind of cool it was very strange to not be staying in a hotel or somewhere else it was oh I, I'm actually going home after this uh yeah. so that was kind of cool um and then also seeing people that you knew on set all the time um and actually being in the location definitely added weight to it yeah. Oh, yeah. It must have been wonderful. I love I love Winnipeg. It's a great city and uh, doesn't get as much credit as it deserves. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. It's a great city. Um, when did you know that you wanted to be an actor or singer? What was the first thing for you? You know, especially growing up in Canada, it's not always so, you know, so easy to be, hey, I want to go to Hollywood or I want to be an actor. When did you know that it was something that you wanted to do? Uh I don't know. It seems like my career over the years has always been, I just capitalize on whatever opportunities there at the moment. And then I end up really liking it. So if I like something, I go for it. So yeah. I started off playing football uh, for University of Manitoba. Then I tried out for Canadian Idol and I got cut. But at the time, then that got me into modeling. And then right. from modeling, uh, there was like commercials and stuff. So I started looking up for like an acting agent and then I went to a musical theater thing uh, or a musical theater agency, which was Talent House at the time mm -hmm. because they did musical theater and I couldn't act yet. So right. I figured that was my best shot at getting in and then just a couple of auditions over the years. And now it seems like I've gotten into writing, um, trying to push music forward for uh, projects um, and getting more into the other aspects of film too. But I'd say I kind of knew I wanted to be an actor for probably 25 or 26. And it was wow. experimentation before that. But I started acting uh, with no experience when I was like 20 or 21. And then there was that little show Glee where you were on the uh, season. And what's so cool about that? I mean, I, I loved Glee when it was, I watched it live when it aired. And of course now it's on Netflix. So people are discovering it, you know, all over again. And, um, but that you were in the last season and, and it had to have been a great learning experience. Here you are, it's a young guy coming into, first of all, a cast that is well-established, no question, right? So they're all like, you know, they know what they're doing. Tell me just a little bit about, I'm just fascinated myself because like, I love that show so much and I just, but it looked like so much work. And you, you know, some of the, sh the things that you did too, like you're, you're swinging on a chandelier, I remember in one scene and you're, you're, you know, you're really getting into it. What was that like for you to walk onto that set and be a part of that show? Uh, I think you nailed it. Uh, it's, 
<laughs> it, was a, it was a lot more uh, work than other jobs. Like now it's like on, on a lot of uh, shows. I'm like, what? I just have to say lines today. This is easy. Yeah. Like instead of learning how to do the dance numbers, doing the singing, then dancing and singing. And then on top of that, doing lines. So like, I think it was a great uh, learning experience and um, how everything works uh, with that kind of show. Right. I, yeah. I thought it was great, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I personally think Ryan Murphy is a, a genius, like a genius, you, you see what he brings us. It's just like from Glee to American Horror Story to, to like all the things that he produces. He's, did you spend a lot of time with him or did you, you know, tell me about if you, if, did you meet with him? Was he helpful to you? Uh, I met with him a couple times. Um, he was very helpful. Um, always encouraging and a great guy overall. Mm -hmm. um, and you're right. Everything he touches generally does extremely well. Yeah. What a genius. Oh my God. I would love to get inside that brain of his. It's just, I know, right. Amazing. Amazing. So what's next? What are we going to see from you next? What's coming up? Uh, there's a, uh, the ice road I think is coming out in June or July. Okay. Is it June? Oh no, it's May. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's already been, we're already here. Yeah. Uh, the what's ice that about? Road, um, that's about some ice road truckers that have to get a shipment up North. Uh, wow. that's with Liam Neeson and Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, that's not too uh, shabby, Marshall. Oh, thank wow. you. Wow. Yeah, Liam those, Neeson yeah, okay. and Lawrence Fishburne. Hello. That's yeah. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> How'd thank you like you. working with those guys? <laughs> uh, it, was, it was great. Uh, both of them were fantastic dudes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah they are. I met them both. They're, they are. That's, that's pretty yeah. good. Okay. And anything else after that? <laughs> uh, I just did a movie in... Kelowna okay. uh, with Jess Harmon. She was directing, um, uh, but that's like a Hallmark kind of movie. Those we had good. Time you know how it. many people watch those Hallmark movies, my friend? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. watch out. Yeah, watch out. People will be will be trying to DM you and everything. But anyway. I, I honestly watch them all the time. They make me feel good when I'm sad. Uh, it's something to do over the Christmas holidays. Exactly. And like, and you don't really want to like watch too anything too intense and you just want to feel good. That's, that's the thing to watch. That is the thing to watch. I agree with you. Well, congratulations on everything. I thought you did a spectacular job in stand. It really is a, it really is a good, good film and best of luck with everything else. And I, I do really appreciate you giving me your, some of your time today, Marshall. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Have a good one. Thank Take care. Bye-bye.